his first year as head coach, I was uh, the play-by-play voice of ASU football. And it was an experience for both of us because, Frank, when you think he was fired up later in his career, you can imagine how he was in his first year as the head coach. Uh, but he was special. And he, let's face it, he put Arizona State University football on the map. And in the heyday, 70,000 people every Saturday night to watch the Sun Devils. And Frank Cush certainly was the man. And he, he will always be recognized as that, that individual. He loved the game. He loved football. And you know what's interesting, Brad, as, as you talk through the years that his former players, obviously they respected him for the tough coach that he was. But later in life, they respected him for helping them become the man that they had become later on. Uh, so he influenced a lot of people. He was a, a friend to all of us. And as I said, he's, he's the, the one that put Arizona State University football on the map. No question about it. Al McCoy with us, Brad Sismat, Sports360AZ.com. We partnered with the Arizona Republic, AZ Central Sports. Frank Cush passing away earlier today at the age of 88. Um, Al, I'm curious, in preparation as a broadcaster to go sit with Coach Cush, what was he like away from the field and giving you uh, ideas, guidance, information to get ready for games were you out of practices it was a day where you could be on the field and right behind or in the middle of all the action what was he like to deal with outside of game day well he was great he was great and i used to kid him because particularly in that first year uh when i was doing the games on radio <laughs> i had to warn him a little bit uh, you know we'd get ready to do a pre-game interview and i'd say uh, Frank, do you want to touch on this or touch on that? And he might be a little explosive with his comment. I'd say, Frank, maybe we better cool it a little bit. I don't know if you want to say that, you know, <laughs> because uh, Frank was never one to hold anything back, as as you know. But uh, from a broadcaster, he he was great. He was great copy. He was a great interview. But as I said, in those early years, sometimes I, I had to hold him back a little bit, Brad, because he could be a little bit outspoken. But he was never at a loss for words. Mm-hmm. And uh, he had a great rapport with all of the media, radio, TV, newspapers. I think anybody that covered the Sun Devils in that era loved Frank Cush because he was always available. Uh, he had comments. He never held back. And uh, as I said, it was such a tremendous era for sports because – it was the thing that really put our state and our city and our area on the map. Uh, even though the Devils played night games, they didn't get the recognition in the East for a long time because mm-hmm. of that. But when you have 70,000 people at Sun Devil Stadium every Saturday night and you're winning games as the Coach Coach teams did, you start to get recognition. And when they got to the bowl games, they got that recognition uh, pretty much thanks to Frank Cush.